So, this my good side. It's your boy Tim Rose, and today I'm going to talk to you about stereo FR FR monitoring on stage. Casual. If you run a Kemper or another amp modeler, you know these things are super powerful. And you need a certain kind of speaker to monitor yourself with them. Uh, FR FR speakers, if you don't know, that's full range flat response. So basically like a powered speaker, a powered PA speaker. These companies, there's the Friedman, there's the Gemini by Mission Engineering, there's all of these great things, make great speakers, but some of them are prohibitively expensive or they just sound like junk. If you're running stereo effects, some of these FRFR speakers don't really do the trick because you're getting a mono signal pumped back at you. So if you're ping-ponging delays everywhere and you want to know what's going on, there is one option from Mission Engineering, a Gemini 212 speaker, but it's like 1600 bucks. That's kind of nuts. I'm sure it sounds great, but I don't plan on buying it. So what to do? May I suggest a affordable and elegant solution? I'm using two QSC powered speakers. These are the brand new CP speakers. CP stands for compact powered. They're a thousand watts. They're light, like super light, like the opposite of a guitar cabinet light. And they're a full range flat response. So I've got them wired in stereo right now. I've got left side, right side, and I still have the two outputs on the Kemper for the front of house guy. So the XLRs can go straight to the front of house and he can deal with that and I get a true representation of what's coming out of my Kemper. And the reason I like this better, the reason I think it's a more elegant solution is because the speakers are not in the same cabinet. There's, if you're running stereo effects and the two 12s are right next to each other, I don't really get the full stereo deal. Whereas if I've got these things surrounding me, I kind of understand now what the stereo delays are doing. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Bottom of the ocean type stereo delays. We're drowning in it. So you're not gonna be able to tell on the iPhone, but I can tell you that these things are bouncing around all over the place. I can hear them super clear. I'm happy with the volume. I'm happy with the representation, like the frequency response, and I get real stereo. These speakers brand new retail at like $4.99 a piece. You could literally get two of them for almost half the price of the stereo Gemini. And you can use them for other things. You can put them on poles and like have a backyard party with them as mains. The versatility of having just a normal power PA speaker versus like a specific guitar cabinet, wooden, heavy as hell speaker, is that like, you'll only get to use that as one thing forever. And you won't even get a real stereo signal out of it. I just decided to go with a PA speaker and I'm super happy with it. So I hope this video helped you and get out there and start ping ponging. <laughs>